hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing an unboxing so i am unboxing actually my birthday gift my birthday was back in june if you haven't seen my birthday vlog i will leave it linked here as well as in the description box so my husband got me a camera for my birthday i was very surprised i was not expecting this i had no clue i had zero he did not leave any hints anywhere so I did not know what I was getting, but I am so happy that I got this camera. I have been filming on my phone since I started YouTube. I got um, the iPhone 12 Pro Max back in January of last year. I'm that person, I don't get a new phone unless my phone is like on its last leg. So I had the iPhone 7, I believe, for the longest while, but it was, that, it was time. Let's just say it was time. So we upgraded, I got the 12 Pro Max, and that's what I have been using to film all of my videos over the last year. I have no issues with it, but I am not a techie girl, <laughs> not at all. I just learn the basics. I learn what I need to make it true. My husband is the one who buys all of the gadgets. He does all the research and then he buys it and I just go with the flow. So I just go with the flow. <laughs> But he's the guy that is, he is into all of the um, technical stuff. So he bought me a camera for my birthday. I am very happy that I received this camera because now I have something else to use other than my phone. Because of course, with filming on your phone comes the issue of storage. So I had to buy like an external hard drive so that I don't have all these clips on my phone. And I have a million and one photos. <laughs> my iCloud is already full. I am sure that is the reason why. So we will be switching over depending on, you know, of course, the video that I'm filming. But I'm going to try to use mainly um, this camera. And the camera that he bought me was the Sony ZV-1. This is it. My husband did all of the research. So I am not here to give you any kind of technical advice. I'm just going to show you the camera that I got and everything that I have purchased to accompany the camera since I received it. If you're interested in seeing this unboxing and seeing all of the gadgets that I bought to go with my new Sony ZV-1, just keep Get watching. Into it. So of course my camera came in this box. They, it came in this box and I'll tell you, my husband bought um, some items to accompany the camera. So I'll show you those. I am also that person who, as soon as I get a phone or like, anything i automatically buy a case for it i don't like any i don't want any scratches or anything so i already got a case for it but i'll show you what um i got initially so what my husband got me he got me a memory card so i think it was 128 gigabytes memory card which is in the camera so of course i won't show you that this is the camera itself so this is my sony zv1 and you know it has the buttons on the top of course the bottom where you can add like a tripod you can screw it in um if you there are like some remotes uh that you can use some smaller tripods so that is this little silver portion and let me show you and at the back you have some more buttons on this side it comes with a pop-out screen so the screen pops out as you can see i just opened it it turned on so it can go facing this way and you can also flip it so i just flipped it and so it flips out like this as well i what else is there as you can see the lens came out so the lens extended um and then at the bottom here let me show you so I'm just gonna close this, flip it. I usually, once I have it, once I have it stored away, I flip it on the inside so the, it doesn't get scratched up or anything. Then this is where the battery goes. It flips open, so a battery, it came with one battery, of course, and then I have the memory card that I mentioned. The camera also came with cute, and this goes, on the top so if you see this little piece here let's see. Uh, so this is the camera this is the camera in its entirety 
and of course it came with the battery as i said so the mic you can remove so let me remove this so the mic I just set aside. This is what my husband bought to accompany the camera. So I have the MacBook Air. He got me this USB-C. Um, so this is like a kind of one of those extensions. So as you can see, this is compatible. This is compatible with the Mac. Um, so he got me this. And this I will show you so Apple of course they're so smart as they bring out new um, new like versions of their I know for sure the laptop my laptop only has a C port which is different than your typical so this is the port that it has but it only has two C ports that's it there is no USB port or anything so you always have to get like something extra you have to always have to buy something extra so this is what my husband got me so he got me this and as you can see it comes with like the usb port and then you can add a like a memory card here and i guess this slot is maybe for a smaller one i am not very sure but yeah so he got me this so that i can use it you know my laptop making it easier he bought this so this contains three extra batteries this so they came just like this so one, two, three, I have two, one is in my camera right now. This is the original battery that came with the camera. And then I have two extras. So the extras, they just come with, of course, the charger. So I have three extra batteries. He got me the camera, extra battery. He got me the memory card. And then of course, this, the, this reader that I showed you, that's everything that my husband bought to go with the camera so he set me up i had i didn't have to worry about anything he bought everything that i needed to get started i'm going to get into everything that i have purchased to go with the camera so the first thing that i got was this strap i wanted of course something so that i could just put it around my wrist because i do not want this camera dropping so this was the first thing that i purchased and i will leave everything linked below so everything that i have purchased i got on amazon i went on amazon i did my research read my reviews and i purchased um i purchased everything else from amazon so this was the first thing that i got this strap i can tell you the price let's see this was nine dollars and 97 cents that was the first thing that i made sure that i got then i also got some tempered glass screen protectors so just some screen protectors i got those for as i showed you it has this screen so i got it for the screen here and it was it was actually a three pack and it cost me only seven dollars and 49 cents i also got a traveling case so my husband actually has this case for some of his other other gadgets this worked perfectly so this is by you green this was 17 dollars 99 this is what it looks like very compact very neat but on the inside as you can see cards so i usually just put i have the camera there and then i could add like extra battery um extra cards and then it has this piece up top and it falls down so this is i love this because it is not bulky and it's like a the case it's had so i got this it's really cute and as i said that was like it was 18 dollars i forgot to mention with the i don't remember if it was the screen protectors or the um this ban they also sent me you know they send like extra stuff these cute um two things so this one is a ladybug this one i guess is a bee so it looks cute it, it this goes in right there i thought that was a nice cute addition but it came with one of those either the screen protector or my um or this other strap the next thing that i got was another tripod so i currently have a a ring light i know i guess a ring light slash tripod my husband <laughs> was the one who actually bought this for me many years ago if you looked at if you look at my introductory video you would you would see that i got a few items here and there i've been seeing i was going to start youtube i think since maybe like 2018 and i did not start my husband got me a ring light i also have a smaller tripod i had a few items to start and i just never did so i have that but my husband was looking at some other tripods and 
when the, there was prime day i went on and the tripod that we were actually looking at was on sale so it is i will show you what it looks like but it's by the brand ulanzi u-l-a-n-z-i and it's the camera tripod and it is foldable what i loved about it is it's foldable and it's heavy duty so it's foldable it's a tripod and monopod for travel it has a 360 ball head detachable and quick release plate it's a mono monopod and it comes with a carrying case so i will leave a picture here so you get have a better idea of what it looks like it actually went on sale for 53 dollars and 31 cents i think I, I think the original price was like over 60 something dollars i have it here so it comes with this carrying case this is the case that it comes in which is good nice and compact and then it just has this so this is perfect for travel i don't know if i'll be able to fit it in the frame i probably will not but <laughs> this is how big it is so it is nice and sturdy this and then this is how long it is what i loved about it it's heavy duty it has i like there are different ways that you like here you can put it because of this 360 ball you can like put it on the side and have your camera like tilted to the side as i said i'll show pictures on the head there is like a little silver piece that you can pull out and you can hang like a bag um on it so you know if you're out and about instead of putting your bag on the ground maybe you want to stop and take a picture the one thing that i thought was a really really that was definitely a good idea so the bottom this is what the bottom looks like right but you can unscrew this so you see i can unscrew this and it came with these let me show you so this this you can use if you're like on the sand or in gravel which i thought was really good so you just screw this on and then let me show you so you screw this on and then if you're on like gravel the sand or whatever you could just stick it in the ground and it won't go anywhere i thought it was really good so yeah this is one gadget that i got to to go with um my camera then my husband he got as you can see if you've seen i have a new background so these are all of the decor pieces that i showed in my decor haul loving them some pieces my my husband also helped me um <laughs> with these pieces you know he gave his opinion he bought me this light he loves this like industrial look so he got this one and he also he bought the the lights the blue light that you see at the back he got that as well i love the setup he did all of the research <laughs> and he also got me they are not available anymore i when i clicked on the link in amazon it said the page isn't available but i'll tell you you know just in case it comes back in stock so he got the two pack rgb led video light kit with 50 cm light stand and it's rechargeable so let me show you this is what it looks like so it's just these um short lights and let me try not to line you how do i put this thing on so as you can see i would put it to the camera but it has like lights and then you can change the colors yes so he also got this to go with my whole setup is everything that i have gotten to accompany my new camera i'll just go into a few of the reasons why we got or he my husband got the camera i asked him as i said he did all of the research and let me see i have my tablet here so one he said that he liked it because it's compact and it's pocket size which is really good because as you can see it's it's on the smaller side and it can definitely fit in a lot of my bags it this camera i know was really popular it was like the vlogging camera like this was the camera that sony brought out specifically for vlogging it can be used for of course just regular sit down videos like in last year probably it was like really popular for that it's a really good beginner camera just have to go and look at a few videos so i'll know you know i get an idea of how to actually use this thing but yes a good beginner camera 
and it um ready to use out of the bag like you were able to use it no hassle my husband said that he did the manual setting so he already set the camera and it's on manual it has the option i don't know if you look at a lot of youtube videos or just youtube videos in general sometimes you see like you'll see somebody filming and their background is kind of like blurred it has that effect which i actually like i actually like that effect um in video so it has the effect to like blur your background let me see what else um he said if you're interested in the price i would also leave it this camera linked below but it costs um like 700 and something dollars of course with you know like taxes and fees then it goes up the only thing as i mentioned before is i have heard that a lot of people say that the battery life is the greatest so that's why he got me um three backup batteries to go with the camera that's everything that i bought to accompany my new camera so you may see of course a difference in not only quality my the whole um idea is not only for the background you know as i am doing more videos of course before i was just like the basic working with what i have but now you know you know trying to improve add a little play here and there i hope that you like my new background let me know what you think just for me to know start actually using it to film which i have to i have to get used to that but it should be fine i will leave everything linked below for you as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe before you leave and of course i will catch you in my next video